flames in the night. Good afternoon, I'm Lee Tyrell. There is nothing left of the Pruden Chrysler Plymouth dealership after a devastating fire last night. Fire apparently started in the showroom and service areas and burned out of control. News 12's Nicole Nogit is in Levittown where some employees were shocked to learn the dealership had gone up in smoke. Nicole? Well, Lee, there's been more than half a million dollars in damage to just the cars alone. As you can see behind me, the structure has been completely destroyed. But perhaps the most devastating news to the owner and employees here is that now dozens of workers are out of their jobs. The raging blaze ripped through this Levittown car dealership around 11 o'clock Thursday night. Twelve hours later, firefighters were still battling the flames. Because of the extensive collapse of the building, we have uh, pockets of fire that uh, when we think we have them all out, uh, an hour or so goes by with the wind we have, and they pick up again, and they start to open flames. The building was completely destroyed, at least 50 cars ravaged by the flames. One firefighter suffered chest pains. No other injuries were reported. Arthur Kay has owned this car dealership for 13 years. Now he's wondering how to rebuild his business. But there goes uh, everything we've done for, for a third of my life. Hopefully by Monday we can start getting everything together. 30 employees, including 25-year-old mechanic Robert Davis, are thinking how they're going to put their lives back together. We're out of a lot of money and tools, and more importantly, we're, we're out of the job. And, uh, everybody's got bills to pay. I, my wife's you know, pregnant and she's going to have a baby in eight weeks. I don't know how we're going to pay the bills now. So far, no cause of the blaze has been determined. The arson squad is investigating. We will have complete details for you coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. In Levittown, Nicole Nogid, News 12, Long Island. Now back to Lee in the studio. Nicole, that fire looks like it took a lot of firefighters to uh, put it out. How many did respond? Uh, we are told nine fire departments responded, and that was uh, over 300 firefighters. Wow. Okay, Nicole. Thank you very much. Nicole Nogid reporting from Levittown. Accused railroad.